Hi friends, welcome to Biology Exams for Today we have a very interesting topic why onion has more DNA than humans. We will be discussing this within 5 minutes. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe and support this channel. Let's begin with the definition of C value. C value means constant or a characteristic value. It is the amount of DNA that is present in a haploid genome of an organism designated as 1C. It is measured in picograms. Simply, it is the genome size of an organism. What is C-value paradox? The term was introduced by Thomas in 1971. Is there any relationship between genome size or C-value and complexity of an organism? Let's take some example to understand the concept. In the case of humans, the C-value is approximately 3 picogram. Whereas in the case of onion, it is 17 picogram, more than 5 times. Whereas in the case of salamander, it is more than 12 times approximately 40 picograms. C value is 40. Whereas in the case of amoeba, it is more than 200 times 600 picogram. So this indicates C value has nothing to do with the complexity of an organism or G number within an organism. This is called as a paradox. The second point is C value is constant in different individuals of the same species and also within different cells of an organism. There is a DNA constancy. At the same time, C value is very much different between related species. As you can see in the case of onion, it is between 15 to 30 picogram, whereas in the case of salamander, this is a research data. As you can see, seven species of salamander, the C value ranges from 13 to 50. That much is the difference between different species, related species. So this is paradoxical. There is no correlation between the DNA content of an organism to complexity of an organism or gene number. Second point is DNA content is constant within species, but differs greatly even between related species. Now let us move into why C value paradox. Now we know that C value is C value paradox is primarily due to the presence of non-coding repetitive sequences called junk DNA or selfish DNA. Majority of the genome in organisms with high C value is non-coding, indicating that the C value has no relationship with the gene number. Now we know that there are different non-coding repetitive sequences like introns in genes, then there is regulatory elements of genes which are not coded for any proteins, then pseudogenes, then multiple copies of a gene present in genome, then there are intergenic sequences which is also called a spacer DNA between genes, repetitive DNA, transposons, etc. All contribute to the massive genome size rather than the complexity of an organism. Hope you understand the concept. Thank you so much for your support. Please subscribe, share and like. You are with biologyexamsforyou.com.